Hi everyone. Thank you for stopping by. Mary here at Espresso Press Design. Welcome back. Thank you for your time. Today I was going to do, um, I had a journal that I wanted to make a closure uh, with a brooch pin, uh, maybe an earring if I could find one. And I never found the appropriate one, so I, um, oh, for another thing, some of these mini journals and things, which is kind of what that was, um, a clip-on earring is, works well enough to use as a closure. So that was my original plan. And then, um, is that my cat? That was my original plan, and then I couldn't find one, so I decided to try to make some. And this is also a use it or lose it, because um, I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. And unless I'm doing something that looks like it should be sewn or something, cutting apart these to use like a pearl and things like that is just too much of a pain because you, ha you have to cut off all the little, um, it's like on a string. So I mean it's good for some things. You know, like if you want to run it along, but just, uh, so this is a use it or lose it. I was planning on just giving these to Goodwill, but, um, yes, that is my cat. I didn't know you were in here. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Spencer. I didn't know you were in here at all. So I was just going to give them to Goodwill, but then I, when I, uh, necessity caused me to create something instead, and I think you don't have to use a lady's hat or anything. Uh, this is just uh, an emboss piece that I clipped out. You can make it whatever design you care to, and today I'm probably going to use this and like try to follow this pattern a little bit. So anyway, um, I made these, and they were on. These are hidden paper clips, but what I don't like about hidden paper clips is you still get the bulk, and they also have it back. So this actually has um, two, and then you put your paper clip on, and then you put your let me get this circle here, your other design on. And then I had my printable on top of that. So that's one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six layers. I mean, they're not that bulky. So then you know that your paper clip is hidden. And then it goes in like that. So I did not like the bulk. So then I decided a bobby pin is going to work so much better. Because then you only need your two. 
and then um, actually you don't even need your two because I left the back I didn't mind that and I could still put something over that if I want to so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna use two glue it on to actually I glue it on the front part because I don't want those ridges of this side of the bobby pin um, pressing into my paper so then I just have that and that one I didn't even back it on anything if I wanted to I could just use this and then I only have two because this is pretty sturdy cardstock but another reason these had so many is because you're gluing beads and um, that's a lot of glue and then that just a printable would get pretty soaked so I put them on uh, packaging material that's why they're also a little thicker uh, I'm sure at least on the back you could get away with book pages but on the front you really probably should have something a little heavy since you're using so much glue so anyway <clears throat> what you'll need are jewels of course whatever image you want to glue on um, this like I said this was just an embossed piece and I took some gel pen and went in the deboss and then added the jewels to where I thought they followed the design somewhat so you'll need your design your back paper paper clips or bobby pins some heavy stock if you don't think your paper is thick enough but I'm pretty sure I can get away with book page and that's it oh and your glue I use this jewel it Aileen's jewel it embellishing glue because um, I found that fabric tack at least for this one these ones it did not work and I accidentally got a Christmas card back in the mail uh, wrong address and um, took the card out to put it in a new envelope and the jewels were falling off and I thought oh boy that's not good <laughs> so then I bought that glue and I've never had any problems since so okay my first I'm just going to prepare this base and then I will probably speed it up as I add the jewels and then I'll hopefully I will be done within my video limit and then I'll come back and show you the finished piece and of course you'll also need something to make your shape eventually I'm going to um, use some die cut shapes to make these um, you could cut out your own shape whatever but I'm just going to use a circle again just because it's easy so I'm just going to take, let me see if I can get an inch out of there. I guess I'll start with this. I can glue it. I hope you can see me. Um, I guess I'll take that because I love this paper. And um, I'll, I'll save every little scrap of it. 
Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. So then, yeah, I might just use book paper. <laughs> For the back. Just make sure. Okay. And I'm going to do it on a bobby pin. Yeah, maybe I'll make that back side the heavy side. Okay. So this is going to be my base. And I'm going to glue it to the bobby pin. Flip it around. My ridge is covered. And another thing you can do, like this bottom, I took some gold thread and made a little bow and glued it on there. But if you have a pair of jeweler's pliers, which I do, you can just curl it up, make a little um, I don't know what you call it. Make a little curved circle and then you could dangle something from it. So then, this is what will hold the bobby pin in place. Wait, that's backwards. I did it backwards. So I didn't want to forget anything. Okay. This is what will hold the bobby pin in place as soon as I glue that. And it will be 10 times more flat for going on a page or something. Um, I think I kind of like that. Glue. So I hope you're all doing well. I'm fine. I will tell you about my... Hopefully I don't have tremors so much today. There. Let that dry a second. I mean, maybe I should move this off here. This was just my something else I did. Maybe I'll talk about it at the end. Here we go. So I probably only want uh, color. I'm going to run out of this color first, I'm quite sure. Um, maybe I should put it there. 
Yeah, this is the uh, tricky part. Just trying to decide where I want my big jewels first. Big. But this is another use it or lose it. Unless I make Christmas ornaments or something. I saved my pretty jars and I have three jars of these. Well, one is pearls. I can't imagine using that many jewels in the next. 15 years. I don't see a light purple, but that would be pretty. Maybe I'll do pink. So first I'm just going to do my larger jewels. Maybe I'll go See if I stagger those in size, how that looks. Okay. Let me just think a moment. Um, yeah, I don't want it to look like eyes and a nose, so. Probably what I'm going to do. Oops. Do I have a smaller one? Maybe go the other way. This is part of the other reason why I'm going to speed this up. By the time I get a jewel in the place I want, it has to be. <laughs> better. And maybe I'll just, I don't know, go down here, around here, a couple little dots on there. We'll see. But, um, okay. I like that color. See if I can get two little ones. Don't um, want them both green. I don't know. I don't want my favorite. I don't see one. I know some people separate these in size. Probably should separate them in size and color. Make my life easier. But the pearls are even worse. Come on. There's one, there's one, there's one. Okay, I can live with that. Oh, that's pretty. Should I do something lighter there? Oh, do I have a blue? A blue would look better. What size is that? Too big. Oh, 
Come on. Medium blue. Medium pink. No, it's too bright. You know, I should have had all of these. This is it. No. It's not medium. Come on. Honest to Pete. There's a purple. So medium. Let's try that. Oh, I think it's staying just because this is taking forever. Okay, I'm get those three glued on. And then I will speed it up. So this is how I do my glow so that I don't, I found with this bottle, um, when you squeeze too much comes out and you're left with a sticky mess. So anyway. I'm sorry about my tremor last time. I, uh, well, I'm always sorry about it, but I have an autoimmune condition. And if I don't take enough, don't pay careful attention to my nutrition and take a ton of B vitamins. It's prone to come back or get worse, put it that way. So I'm not going to name the condition, but I got diagnosed, I don't know, 15, 14 years ago or so. And it never progressed to the state as predicted, thank the Lord. So it doesn't impact my life that much. And in addition, I am my ethnicity doesn't allow me to absorb B vitamins very well. I forget which one it is. But that might have something to do with it as well. So, I'm Northern European. I guess we have a problem synthesizing or absorbing B vitamins. Or at least that's what I read. So anyway, that's not the only thing that happened. I had a um, relative. Gotta let that dry a second. That was uh, had a crime perpetrated on them. He walked into a situation. Um, well, not walked into, it came to him. But anyway, 
uh, he was robbed. He was lucky he wasn't killed um, while he was in the hospital. Uh, we, his aide called us and the police told her to, that the house had to be secured and uh, we had to go over and put new locks on the doors and things like that. And um, at the time, I heard it through the rumor mill, kind of, so to speak, that those, the perpetrators might still be watching the house. So it was quite scary having to go over there and make sure the house was secure and everything. And for the whole two or three weeks until, and the, the, I was also told that they might be watching the house. Um, so for that three weeks, two, three weeks, until I was sure he was all right and they weren't coming back and uh, they sold quite a bit, but He's like very lucky they didn't do something worse. And I don't know where they came from or where they went, but um, trust me, it wasn't good. And he should never should have let them in his house. And, um, very poor judgment and it cost him a lot and it was quite nerve-wracking until it was over so that was part of it I didn't sleep I didn't eat I didn't it was extremely nerve-wracking so okay I'm going to uh, figure out my next ones and my and what else I want to add. I would love some of those little diamonds, but I guess I'm going to do a use it or lose it with a little bit of this. I don't have a little piece cut. Um, use these. I'm going to leave a silent space so I know where to clip this video and speed it up.
Okay, if I didn't have to cut speed through that before, I have to now. My husband was running the vacuum. So here is the finished piece. I think it's quite pretty. And I thank you for stopping by, and I hope you'll give these a try. I mean, get imaginative. Uh, follow a butterfly. Follow a leaf. That would be very pretty. Um, follow any shape you want. And make some little brooches. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful for holding something on a page and not taking up a lot of, uh, not adding as quite as much bulk as these ones. So the bobby pin worked better. So, okay guys, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the, your time. Hopefully this is not too choppy. Give it a try. Have a good one. See you next time. Bye.